All right, y'all, first and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his son, the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who some call Yeshua, Yehoshua. Um, we mostly know as Jesus Christ. Um, and I Paul all that. I'll be trying to think of the other names, but um, what we're going to talk about today is, um, you know, I, I, I would say I never thought this day would come, but there was a point that I never thought I would see Israelites, especially camp Israelites, running away from Christians. Um, or running away from Jehovah Witnesses. But it's a certain type of Christian. It's a certain level. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a certain level of uh, of understanding one can have to make Israelites just say nope, just do not deal with them. It's not worth it. Now I'm telling you, one of these things too, not just to understand, but also, you know, the gotcha moments. You know that somebody's going to put this. They coming up to the camp and they're filming. Um, and this is because Israel is a trending topic, more and more of this is beginning to happen. That if you are an Israelite camp, you're out there filming, you're going to get people that's they're they're looking for you because you're going to make for good content if they can put you in a trick bag and get you with a gotcha moment. Or they don't know, or get you where you know they 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 got you confounded, and you can go with the 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 tactics, you know. Oh man, you gonna screen these people away, and uh, but a lot of that stuff not working now because they're just taking the videos, uploading it, and showing and explaining the tactics that one would use to cause interference that they just don't want to deal with the question. But if we, if, uh, and I was talking to a brother earlier about this, you know, uh, what profit if the Jew, I think it's Romans 3, uh, much in every way, but chiefly that they were committed to oracles of God, that they had the word, they had the law. And, Again, this one, my brother, I agree with my brother that the identity need to be taught last. Uh, too many other things that need to be taught before the identity because the identity puff of up. But we took pride in that. We were saying we're the scholars of the earth. We are the scholars. These folks don't know nothing. Now we're running away from these folks. This dude that we're going to see a lot of in this video, Vocab Malone, was manufactured by Hebrew Israelism. Manufactured by camp going to their church. Now you have IUIC. They've been blitzing churches and they've created their own Vocab Malone. And they created other apologists like, uh, what's that brother name? Eric Mason. Yeah, you might have got over on them one time, but you've made these people, you gave these people a platform and an avenue. And, um, you know, Eric Mason done wrote a couple of books on, you know, this this whole terminology of urban, apolo urban apologetics and... Um, how to indeed conferences on how to deal with um with Israelites that are out there teaching on the camps or that are approaching your church. Um, and now they're tightening up certain things and coming back and visiting. You know, they running up on the camps. They coming outside the church, the, the, the camp buildings. 
in in camps are shutting they they shutting the they shutting the uh the camp down they shutting the schools down they shutting down shop saying no we just don't want to talk to them and that's just one of the things man we never just never thought you would see um you know somebody using proverbs 28 1 on us but we're gonna see this here in this video so i'm not gonna uh keep going long uh and, and keep going on and on ranting but i'm gonna let y'all see the footage and i'm gonna ask this question though has vocab destroyed gms has vocab has vocab you know sent gms into hiding um and i've given you so many videos i've gone over these things and that's the thing i i told that's what i'm saying i i wouldn't have seen it before but i told y'all that this was coming i told you that this was coming and that we need to tighten certain things up y'all didn't listen you didn't listen the brother said it was low-hanging fruit <laughs> And now y'all done made Vocab Malone this superhero. This man traveling the world doing doing lessons and conferences, teaching everybody. You know, y'all created him. Vocab Malone is a creation of GMS and Sakar. It was manufactured by them. Uh pray this thing's edifying. Um y'all be blessed. We'll see y'all on the next one. Let me let this footage roll. You know, the nerve of these men is astounding. And you really shouldn't even have to give them the time of day because when you look at the scheme of things, these guys are nobodies. They're nobodies. You don't know their name. You don't know who they are. Pastor Mike. You know. <laughs> Mike's last name is Holloway. You don't know their name. You don't know who they are. Mike's last name is Holloway. Pastor Mike. These men are nobodies. Who are you? Pastor Mike. You know. <laughs> but we have to give them time and space. Why didn't they just let them talk and debate? You okay. So as you see, <laughs> first thing he says when he comes on is these men are nobodies. We don't know their name. <laughs> but soon as we showed up to their facilities, they grabbed the mic and the guy said, I've been waiting on you, Pastor Mike. And then you heard Big Red say, Mike's last name is Holloway. So which is it, Big Red? We don't know your name. We don't know who you are. Again, we, I, we're not trying to make a name for ourselves, bro. <laughs> but be clear. You know us. Soon as we showed up, you called out my name. You called out Pastor Desmond's name and know my full name. Thank you, Sister Paris. He said, Max's last name is Holloway. <laughs> called out Desmond and called out Robert Anderson's name. He, they know many of us, right? And, and I'm glad you know us because and we're going to find out exactly how they know us, right? We'll let them explain how they know us. You want to know why? Because we're frustrated. Because we're frustrated. Because we're frustrated. You know what happens when somebody is harassed? Year after year after year after year, you get what? You get frustrated. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me do my business. Let me build what I need to build. But no, you have to come around and try to stop it. Okay, I was watching this. Christian apologists scare IUIC Israelites into canceling class. And when you watch this video, it damn sure looks like the, these Christians spook y'all. Well, I guess that's that. Well, you're no longer allowed to talk to me, are you? Well, I, apparently I wasn't allowed to talk to you at all. So, I, and I just didn't realize that. Proverbs 28 plus, the wicked flee when not pursued. Proverbs 28 plus, the wicked flee when not pursued. Proverbs 28 plus, the wicked flee when not pursued. Call the cops, what are you doing? Fall back. Call the cops. The 
the pastor ain't came. You see what the pastor did? He came out here and he hit, he hit behind that wall and called the police. Hey! For the cops, what are you doing? Fall back. For the, for the cops. What? For the cops, what are you doing? Fall back. For the, for the cops. Book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 1. Right the wicked flee when no man pursue it. I ain't telling you to run, bruh. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. I ain't telling you to run, bruh. <laughs> Do it. I ain't telling you to run, bruh. The Bible says that the wicked flee when no man pursues. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? He did not come to save one type of person. He came to save sinners. I usually don't say his name, we just call him the maggot. So everybody understands clearly who the maggot is, it's vocab below. Oh, you did it this time, vocab. We're gonna talk about it. So, we just showed up with the Hebrews of Lights. And the second we came over, these two guys go on their phone. You already know they're calling out of the Respectfully, because there's a certain individual here, right? I'm not allowed to dialogue. the word! the Takari has put themselves in a predicament, this group, where it's going to really be hard to debate these high-level Christians. But they're debaters. This is all they do. So they should be able to at least defend the gospel to some degree. Hello, I know you are. You're a sinner. No. And this, and this is where it goes bad for Sakari. Title this video, Vocab the Maggot Malone. I usually don't say his name, we just call him the maggot. So everybody understands clearly who the maggot is, it's Vocab Malone. Oh, you did it this time, Vocab. We're going to talk about it. There's nothing that you can do. All of your efforts are futile. You maggot. Just like all of your efforts to get back were futile. Right. And she's gone on to be happily ever, ha happily ever after with a real man, a man of her own people, a brother by the name. Let's get hands. Greetings. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. So last Saturday, Vocab Malone paid a visit to GMS Cleveland while they were holding camp. Week two. Oh, okay. How y'all doing? And amazingly, shortly after he arrived, one of the members of the camp said this. Hey, this ain't a debate, man. The Lord just sent us out here to debate, all right? The Lord sent the, the prophets out here to give a warning. He said, therefore, give them a warning from me. Okay? That's right. It's me. This ain't a debate, man. So now GMS members are saying that they're not interested in debate. And honestly, that's a far cry from what their leader was saying back in 2007 and 2008 when he first burst onto YouTube. Like I said, we challenge anybody on the planet. I don't give a damn if you're the Pope. I don't give a damn if you uh, uh, Rex Humbard. I don't give a damn if you uh, 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 Jess. I don't give a damn who you are. When it comes to the scriptures, we the only ones that know the scriptures, all right? But worthy of note, that young man wasn't merely speaking on his own. Rather, GMS leadership has made clear that they advise their followers against debating with vocab. However, they've gone even beyond that now, as now they're declaring that their followers should call the police on vocab if he approaches their camps. Now I told brothers if vocab roll up on you, you can call the cops. Point them brothers should have called the cops and say, look, this, this, because no edification was going to come out of it. They should have called the cops on him. Like Elder Pastor been saying, just call the cops on it. Say, officer, I'm being harassed. Because you, indeed, you are being harassed. At this point, call the cops on that, that, that a-hole, okay? Just call the cops on it and say, I'm being harassed by this man. Officer, I want you to do your duty. I'm being harassed by this man, okay? And the officer might say, well, why don't you close up and, and, and go somewhere else, okay? If I close up, like Elder Pastor was saying, if I close up and go somewhere else and this guy follows me, right, as in vocab, will, 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 um, will you arrest him then? And I press charges, will you arrest him then? And of course, the young and loyal followers of GMS have heeded that call. So the order was given, right, for you brothers, right? And this, this order was given by the Elder Pastor Har, 
right? When you're dealing with Vocab Malone and he approached the camp, just don't even have a back and forth with him. Scriptures say what? Cast not thy pearls before swine. But just go ahead and call the law on that Edomite, man. Just call the law on him. You see that? Because we're not listening to any more of their shit. You see that? So, you know, what we're going to do, all right, so we're going to start calling the law, right, on you crazy-ass Edomites that approach the camp. Why the apostles put out the order that, you know, when this person comes around the camp, all right, when he starts to get on his uh, BS, you know, just call the cops, man, or do yourself a favor, all right, just pack up and move somewhere else, all right, and if he continues to follow you or whatever, you know, call the police, all right? Now, honestly, after hearing that, it needs to be pointed out that this transition from saying we challenge anyone to debate us to saying we're going to call the cops if vocab tries to debate us constitutes a dramatic paradigm shift. And it was vocab himself who ushered in that paradigm shift. Therefore, it, it seems fair to say that vocab has broken GMS. Now, I, I realize that it's impolite to put it so bluntly, but GMS has been so acrimonious over the years that I really don't feel particularly obligated to mince words here. You see, GMS put out a challenge and vocab took up their challenge. The subsequent reaction from GMS was to shrink away from the very challenge that they put out there. That's why it's fair to say that vocab broke them. He met their challenge and dismantled them intellectually, basically getting them to concede in terms of debating. And on a closing note, this recent drama unfolded because Vocab visited GMS's Cleveland, Ohio camp this past weekend, and he visited the group's Columbus, Ohio camp the weekend before that. And this needs to be pointed out because while GMS members are asking, why is Vocab bothering us? It's GMS members in Ohio who are responsible for the rise of vocab as an apologist who focuses on Israelites. You see, in 2011, GMS's Columbus camp was visiting local churches and picking arguments with the pastors there. And that was what inspired vocab to start focusing on Israelites. Therefore, if GMS now considers vocab to be a monster, they have themselves, or more specifically their Columbus camp, to thank for the creation of that quote unquote monster. Simply put, they wanted to argue with Christians, and their Columbus camp wanted to more specifically argue with Christians from Columbus. They got their wish and then some, but apparently they don't like what they got. And that's why they've made this 180 degree turn and are now declaring that they no longer wish to debate. It's basically... I was just about to load this video up, and then I see... <laughs> I seen Deacon actually trying to get on GMS like, hey, man, GMS, how you let vocab do this, man? Vocab done did this to y'all and your, your doctrine and da, 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 but it's like, bro, they ran y'all off first. GMS has a lot of truth, a lot of good breakdowns. I don't believe that they're the best. I don't believe all their breakdowns to be correct. I don't believe their doctrine to be Trump tight. And I, and they're definitely not like, uh, they're not debaters or they're not good with engaging. Um. Well, I guess that's that. Well, you're no longer allowed to talk to me, are you? Well, I, apparently I wasn't allowed to talk to you at all. So, I, and I just didn't realize that. I pursue. Proverbs 28 plus, wicked flee when not pursued. Proverbs 28 plus, wicked flee when not pursued. Proverbs 28 plus, wicked flee 